For as long as anyone can remember, AST Space Mobile has been telling investors that it needs 25 satellites in orbit in order to start generating revenue. This number is very important, so much so that we made a video about it earlier this year. These 25 satellites were seen as AST's ticket to becoming a self-sustaining company. Revenues generated from these 25 Bluebird satellites would fund the development of the rest of the network. We say would, because this plan has now been torn up and thrown in the recycling bin. Because AST Space Mobile has a bold new strategy which is both exciting and just a little bit expensive. But what is AST's new plan? What proof do we have that it exists? And will it pay off for investors? Keep watching for all you need to know. We're currently at an incredible inflection point for the company. And we're expecting continued progress across all aspects of our business as we charge into a pivotal year for the company. We have now reached an inflection point as we scale fundamental aspects of our business toward a full-scale commercialization. These are direct quotes from AST's management team from its Q1 2025 earnings call. It's clear that they believe this is a pivotal year for the company, a crucial inflection point, which requires a bold new strategy. Before we dive into AST's new strategy, let's explore its existing plan, which long-term investors will be quite familiar with. As we alluded to earlier, for many years, AST has been reiterating that its operational approach to scaling the business is to focus on getting the capital required to build and launch a network of 25 satellites. This network will enable AST Space Mobile to provide non-continuous coverage to the most commercially attractive markets, including the US, Europe and Japan. Once this network is operational, it will deliver revenues through AST's commercial partners. As mobile network operators like AT&T, Verizon, Vodafone and Rakuten start to sell this service to their customer base, AST will get a share of the subscription fees as revenue. AST would then use this revenue to grow the network year on year, launching more satellites as more money comes in. So what's changed? What is AST Space Mobile's new plan? AST's new plan is actually a lot more simple. Build out the Space Mobile network as fast as possible, no matter the cost. But why has AST made this change of approach? In our view, it's all down to one thing. Demand. Demand for AST services has been significantly greater than the company had anticipated just a few years ago. AST's tech won't just be connecting everyday folks in remote areas without a cell phone signal, it'll be used by organisations and governments too. And in the last few months, AST has received a lot of additional interest. AST is now a prime contractor for US government contracts and is already working on several of these, with more likely on the way in the near future. It's also being contracted to support first responders in the US through FirstNet, in Europe through Mission Critical, and most recently in Singapore with its partnership with Singapore's Defence Science and Technology Agency. The use case for AST's tech keeps growing and we believe it is this demand that's driven AST to accelerate its launch plans. So what evidence do we have that AST's new plan is to build out the network as fast as possible, no matter the cost? Firstly, the company recently opened a new ATM facility, giving it access to half a billion dollars in potential funding. An at-the-market facility, or ATM, enables a company to sell shares into the market to raise capital. This comes at a cost of dilution for existing shareholders, but if it accelerates the company's growth, it can be more than worth it for investors. But it's not just a new ATM. While answering investor questions at AST's recent AGM, CFO Andrew Johnson said, We've continually reported and provided updates on our ongoing diligence uh, for over a $500 billion quasi-governmental funding with uh, XM and the IFC. In addition to this quasi-governmental funding, AST has also recently established an equipment loan facility for another $100 million. That's an awful lot of extra funding for a company which had almost $900 million in cash available to it just a few months ago. 
We currently estimate that the average capital costs, including direct materials and launch costs for our constellation of over 90 Block 2 Bluebird satellites, will fall in the range of 21 to $23 million per satellite. Given each Bluebird costs an average of $22 million to build and launch, AST Space Mobile should only need $440 million to launch the additional 20 Bluebirds it needs to meet its 25 Bluebird revenue generation target. We estimate that AST Space Mobile could soon have close to $2 billion in cash available, enough to build and launch around 90 additional Bluebirds. This is backed up by the fact that the company announced it would be using all of its possible launches. In November 2024, AST announced a multi-launch agreement to launch 45 to 60 satellites by the end of 2026. AST's excellent cash position means it has more flexibility when it comes to launch providers. If New Glenn is delayed, AST can afford to purchase extra launches with SpaceX and even explore other launch options such as Rocket Lab's Neutron and the ESA's Ariane 64. While giving an update to investors as part of the company's Q1 earnings call, CEO Abel Avion said, We expect to deploy over 60 satellites during 25 and 26. Over 60 hints at more launches than the previously announced agreement, which covered just 45 to 60 satellites. But the clues to AST's new plan don't stop there. While answering investor questions at AST's Q1 earnings call, AST's president, Scott Wichniewski, shared with investors. The demand signals we're receiving are to, to get the service to market as fast as possible. So what you're seeing is essentially a little bit of pull forward on launch. And so we've spent a little bit more than anticipated just to keep the timeline moving fast. Demand signals are high, meaning it's spending more to pull forward launches and deliver service faster. This is AST Space Mobile's new plan. So why has AST's team waited until now to execute this new plan? Why didn't they always plan to build as fast as possible? Well, it all comes down to two things, cost and demand. Looking at cost first, back in January 2024, AST needed to raise $100 million to support its capital expenditure. At the time, ASTS was trading at around $3 per share, meaning the company had to issue over 32 million shares to fund this transaction. Today, if the company were to issue that many shares, it had net over $1.7 billion in funding. AST now also has a lot of other ways to raise capital available to it that don't involve selling more shares. These have become available as the company has now grown in size and it's become clear that there is significant demand for its services, making it an attractive investment opportunity. There is of course also the demand element as well. As we covered earlier in this video, there is now strong demand for AST's tech with significant interest from governments in addition to the company's growing number of MNO partners. AST needed both financial security and strong demand to be able to change its direction. And now that it has both of these, it's done exactly that. In summary, AST Space Mobile has made a fundamental shift in direction, changing how it approaches the rollout of its network. It's no longer waiting for 25 satellites to be in orbit to provide the funding for the rest of the network. It's now looking to build out as fast as possible, no matter how expensive this might prove to be. As a potential user of Space Mobile services, this means you can expect AST to close dead spot gaps sooner. For shareholders, this will likely lead to more value being generated earlier than expected, as AST Space Mobile rolls out its network faster to help meet the exceptional demand that has arisen for its services. Let us know what you think about AST's new strategy in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please drop us a like and make sure you're subscribed to Connected Space.